Ciao, Ciao dudes. dudes! So welcome to Epic Vegan Pasta Bake Al Forno. Al Forno being a fancy Italian word for In the bake. oven. In the oven. Uh, so th this is part of Springwini and uh, Marcheroni. It's part of our pasta series. We're doing eight dishes. This is a classic, it's easy, it's delicious, and it's young. It's maybe not the classic Italian style, but it's something we served in our cafe for years. It's simple, it's really tasty, it's a crowd pleaser, and it really feels like a belly hug. Pesto, roasted veg, breadcrumb on top, pasta baked in oven. Yum. Delicious. Here we go. So first step, I've got a pot of boiling water. It's actually rolling. I'm gonna pop in a decent pinch of salt, and then we're gonna pop in, we've got 250 grams of pasta, and it goes. Uh, while that's happening, we're going to start our basil pesto, simple basil pesto, into your food processor blender. We have 100 grams of cashews and we've got two cloves of garlic. And uh, as you'll note, these are large cloves of garlic, so um, if yours are smaller, put in three. And if you don't like garlic, just leave it out, but uh, I find it's really, really good in all pestos. Yeah, that makes good. We have 150 ml of olive oil. Obviously, if you do want to make it lower fat, you could put in 75 ml water, 75 ml olive oil. We're going all out here. We're going for it. Okay, we're gonna go with basil leaves. We have a decent handful. I'd say it's approximately 50 grams of basil. Good guess, David Flynn. Try to remove the stalk, because the stalk will add a bit of bite there, that. It doesn't quite blend as smooth, so we've and already de-stalked our basil. So 50 grams, a decent bunch. Uh, juice of half a lemon, and about three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna do that manually. Manually, three man. quarters of a teaspoon. That was a generous Both, three quarters. Exactly. Okay, lid on and blendy, blendy. Woo! Yeah. We want a little bite uh, going through our uh, pasta bake. We want it to have a little bit of chunk. You can see it can there. Taste. Mm. I love the fresh lemon. Lovely, isn't it? Mm. Okay, so basil pesto is done. Now it's time to make our tomato sauce. Okay, so we're going to make our tomato sauce. We've got a frying pan on a high heat. I'm going to add one tablespoon of oil. And it goes. Okay, we have one onion which we have diced finely. Oh, nice. Uh, we have two cloves of garlic, and in they go. That's the base of our sauce. Okay, the onion's been cooking for about a minute. We've grated one carrot, just grated roughly the carrot. Medium, medium sized. Medium sized carrot. Uh, the carrot here is gonna add a bit of sweetness. Carrot's the second sweetest of all vegetables behind the only beetroot. We're Okay, along with the carrot, a decent pinch of salt really helps kind of bring out the flavors and make the carrot sweat out its juices. So we just mix that through and we're literally gonna sweat it down for about three minutes at a high heat. So when you're making this at home, uh, what's really important is you roast your veg. So what we did first was we preheated the oven to 200 degrees. We chopped 500 grams of mixed vegetables and we roast them for 20 minutes. We coated them in about a tablespoon of oil and a pinch of salt. We went with sweet potato, we went with courgette, we went with broccoli and a little bit of pepper. So choose whatever type of veg you like, approximately 500 grams, chop them into bite-sized chunks, um, and, and roast them for them. approximately 30 minutes, let's say 20 to 30 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes is pretty cool. Okay, our onion and garlic and carrot mixture has started to brown. You happy? Yeah. Okay, we have about 40 ml of red wine. If you don't like wine, obviously leave it out. But don't worry, the alcohol will evaporate. But it gives a nice depth of flavor to the tomato dish. And the a bit of acidity. Sauce. So literally stir the carrot around because it's all going to be absorbed and evaporated very quick. And on top of that, we have 50 ml of tomato puree or tomato concentrate. I'm going to put in one bay leaf, also known as laurel or sweet laurel. We've got one tin of chopped tomatoes, that's 400 uh, ml or grams. We have a nice generous pinch of salt. A little bit of black pepper. Just bring it to the boil and let it reduce for a few minutes. Okay, pasta sauce has taken mm. us about six to eight minutes to make. The carrot has given a nice bite and body and sense of texture to it. Um, how's the pasta looking? Pretty much done. Okay, pasta's pretty much done. Mm. Uh, okay, time to start to bring our sauce together. We are gonna pop in our roasted veg into our tomato sauce. Okay, pasta is done, so I'm just gonna drain it, bring it over to the sink. I'm gonna take the bay leaf or the laurel just out of our tomato sauce, just it can be, many people don't like to eat it. It looks class, it's really, really good. Okay, time to bring this together. We're gonna just mix it in our little pie dish just to show how easy it is. We, as, as Dave mentioned, 250 grams of pasta. We went with white pasta. Go at home meal if you wanna go a little healthier. Mmm, nice bit of al dente, bright too. In goes the tomato sauce and the veg. We're gonna give that a good mix. Okay, now where it starts getting a bit exciting. We're gonna put in half the pesto in. We're gonna leave half for sandwiches. We're gonna start with half, and this is just gonna add a lot more flavor to it, and add a lot more fat. 
What that happened to our cheese? Oh. So it could give that real Mediterranean kind of pasta bakey richness. Oh, a lot of flavor in that. Mmm. Oh, the pesto's delicious. Mm. Really elevates the tomato sauce, takes it all the way up. Okay, we preheated the oven to 200 degrees. We're gonna just top it. Show you a nice, simple way of topping it. So we've yeah. got some breadcrumbs. In this case, they're white ones. If you're gluten-free, just use gluten-free ones. Obviously, you'll have to use gluten-free pasta too. And if you wanna make your own breadcrumbs, you can simply just blend up some bread that you have at home, some old bread. That's what we've often done. Mmm, super tasty, wow. I'm gonna go with a little drizzle of oil just around it. That was about a, about a teaspoon of oil. It's just to help make the breadcrumbs kind of crisp up a little bit. Just to help spread the breadcrumb, that oil around. We've got a little bit of thyme leaves. I find they go really well. They give a nice kind of fleck of color to it as well. Wow, okay, we've preheated the oven to 200 degrees. We're gonna bake this for about 10 to 15 minutes, just until it goes golden on top and all the flavors congeal into this magic, magnificent deliciousness. Okay, it's past has been in the oven for about 15 minutes. It's past about four about. I'd love to learn Italian. Not very good at the moment. Oh, it looks beautiful. Wow. So this is proper, this is the real deal. This rustic, looks rustic, Tuscan pasta. hills with pasta al forno. I don't know how to say real delicious in Italian. Molto bene, molto yomme, bene. Yomme. Molto bene, okay, ready? Excelente. Okay, so the breadcrumb has got a lovely crust. The flavors have come together beautifully. You'll see the sauce and the pesto. I borrow my fork. Oh, oh lads. Okay, team, here we go. This pasta al epic. forno. Epico. Fantastico. Oh, nice, the pasta isn't a bit al dente, too. Oh, mm. I'm going to be really classy just a little bit. Oh, it's lovely. It's really elegant. Mm. It tastes lovely. Pasta's, pasta's, or pesto's baked into the pasta. It's class. Really, really good. It's like a great, it's great subtle, pleasure. It's gentle. It feels like a belly hug. Like, really delicious. Definitely does. Uh, definitely mm. one to try. And as we've mm. said before, uh, we're looking for ideas to do for our April series. Any ideas which you have. This month's been pasta. Any things you'd really love us to do because this whole channel is about trying to empower you to cook more, cook more veg, eat more vegan, more plant-based, and together we can build a better world. Uh, thanks for watching. Send loads of love and um, ciao. Ciao. Ciao.